Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview questions for PL SQL developers. This video is in continuation with the previous video. In the previous video we have seen about one interview question like can we use a DML or a DDL statement inside a function. However in the previous video I have talked much about accessing the function which is having a DML or a DDL statement mainly from the select statement perspective only. I never talked or explained what, what happen if we access that function in a PL SQL block like a procedures function or anonymous block. So, uh, so I got few review comments over email so I thought of adding few more information that's why I'm just uh, adding this part 2 video series. So if someone is watching this video series newly I would suggest watch the part 1 so that you, you you'll be able to understand much better okay. Now in this video in previous video we know that whenever there is a DML statement inside a function will not be able to call that particular function directly in a select statement because the select statement is supposed to be a read consistent and it should not change the state of the database in the same transaction. As a workaround we can use the autonomous transaction so that that function can be called in the select statement. So in this video we will see what happens if we access this particular function in a PL SQL block. So here is the function which we saw in the uh, previous example. So I'm just creating the function which is having an update statement. So whenever we call this function in the select statement, we'll be getting the same error saying that we'll not be able to perform DML operation inside the query. Because we are calling this function, we are calling the function from a select statement and within this function we are trying to do a DML operation. So this is what we'll be getting. Now we'll see, so as a workaround, if you want to make this work, we can make this function as an autonomous transaction function, then this will work. Now what now we'll see what happens if we call this particular function in a PL SQL block. So here I'm trying to call this function as part of an anonymous block in an expression. So in this case, this process this PL SQL block will get successfully executed. So if you call this function as part of an expression in a PL SQL block or in a procedure or in any other function, this will successfully execute because here we are not accessing the function through a select statement. We are just calling the function as part of the expression. But keep it in mind that this transaction has to be committed or rolled back because through the function we have already commit we have updated a uh, table which has to be committed or rolled back. So as part of this PL SQL block we have to issue a commit or rollback statement. Fine. Now let us see what happen if we call this particular function as part of select statement within the PL SQL block. So here we will be getting the same error saying that we will not be able to do the DML operation inside a query. This is because we are actually calling the function as part of select statement. In the previous uh, example I have shown we are calling this function as part of expression. However in this example we are calling this as part of select statement. So whenever you call the function from a select statement whether it is a standalone select statement or you are calling this select statement as part of a PL SQL block, anonymous block or a named block or whatever it may be, select statement will take the precedence over any PL SQL block. So select statement is a read consistent and it will not change the state of a database in the same transaction. For this as a workaround we can follow the same thing like we can make that function as an autonomous transaction function. If you want any questions to be answered, drop it in the comments or you can drop to this mail id. Subscribe and stay tuned for more new feature videos, interview questions, concept videos, tips and tricks. Thanks for watching this video.